It was a beautiful morning, and it seemed like another world. I kept asking myself over and over, how did I, Father Noah Rivers, collar and all, end up on that lonely beach in Mexico, walking alongside a beautiful girl I'd only known for 24 hours? And kissing her in a way I promised myself I'd never kiss a woman again as long as I lived. weeks when I kept thinking things couldn't get worse, but they did. It started with a fire and went downhill from there. I was dead beaten, hoping that a day at the beach with some of the kids could get my juices flowing again. But an old lady was dying and the Lord's work came first. So I went to the hospital. Angel Cakes took the gang to the beach. They came home laughing and singing like always. Not to mention some hugging and kissing on the part of Rosa and Felipe. Rosa was born in Helltown. I baptized her and gave her first communion. I was all set to marry her to Felipe. He was a nice kid working hard on getting his green card. Careful, Felipe. Rosa holds the fate of your green card in her hand. But none of us knew their hopes were about to be busted into little pieces by a bunch of people coming into Helltown who were going to bring us a load of trouble we'd never forget. Those folks were bone tired, too, on the run for a couple of weeks on this kind of refugee underground railroad the sanctuary people were running. Shelley McRae was part of that underground. She was headed for the Reverend Wahlberg's mission, not far from St. Dominic's. Yes, the mission does have an evening service. And I can assure you of a warm welcome. Thank you, Reverend. Heat up the food, Emma. Our guests are coming in. Shelley taught school in one of those places where the bombs and bullets kept killing the kids she loved. It took a lot of guts. Five minutes and we're home free. She thought she had it made. But not far from Wahlberg's mission in an abandoned backyard of Helltown, the feds had a full field headquarters set up. Officer reported suspect vehicle has entered our perimeter, Inspector. Head up to Wahlberg's place. This wasn't going to be your usual immigration sweep. Inspector, somebody blew it. Wait a minute. What is it? Suspect spotted the squad car tail, took off. We got a hot pursuit. All right, all right. Block off Wahlberg's place. You can start operations sweet, but get it through everybody's radio that the main objective here is to get to people in the Arizona car. 
All hell had broken loose, and undocumented aliens were running the streets of Helltown left and right. One ball and angel cakes knew we were going to have our hands full at St. Dominic's. Immigration. That's all we need. More misery in Helltown. Stay here. Inside! Inside! Go on inside! Take him in, one ball. Go on. Come on. Like the smoke of a blazing fire, you could smell the fear in Helltown. Shelly had more courage than anyone I'd met on the streets or in the joint. Just when it looked like she might be cornered, she looked up, and there was the cross of St. Dominic's. Ramon, Pilar, un Iglesia. Everybody just sit tight till we figure something out. Father, we can't keep them here much longer. The feds are gonna be crawling all over this place. I know. What I'd like to do is get them out of here and someplace safe before we all get nailed. Check outside and see what's going on. Yeah, okay. No dice, one boy. The streets are busy. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take them up to the Belfry and keep them there until you give the word. Get some food up there when you can. Okay. On the lane. I'm gonna... And that was the first time I saw Shelly. at all those people and knew they were strangers. And something told me they were the reason the feds were tearing Helltown apart. Will you all stay here and rest for a minute? I'm gonna see if I can find a store or a basement, okay? What's going on here? I need to find a better hiding place for these people. They're not from Mexico. Where are you people from? I don't think that concerns you. Of course it concerns me. This is my church. Oh, I thought it was God's church. I'm taking care of it for him. Ramona, go up. Is she all right? She's sick? It's been a long journey, Padre. She needs rest. We need sanctuary. But if I would, Padre, you let us. Sure. Let's get him down in the basement. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> and Rosa, the kids who were going to get married at St. Dominic's, well, it looked like they weren't going to get married at all. Hold still, young lady. You better have an ID. Find Father Hartstead. She will know what to do. The sisters are bringing more blankets and food. We'll be able to handle you. Gracias, Padre. Ustedes son my angel. Don't let God hear you saying that one. We won't impose on you for long, just until I can make other arrangements. Noah, the streets are full of police cars. Shelly. Mother Maggie. It's you. You guys know each other? Yes. We go way back. I didn't know what I was feeling, but I knew it had something to do with Shelly. I'll take her. Where do you guys know each other from? 
Father Hart, sir. We got a, got a little trouble. Father. What? They took Felipe. You know what will happen if they send him back to you? Oh, Rosa, I'm sorry, honey. They will kill him, Father. What are we gonna do? I gotta stay here, but I'll call Lawyer Sam, and I promise you, Lawyer Sam will help Felipe. Hang in there. All right, go ahead. Um, Inspector, uh, will you give Felipe a break? He's getting married in three days to an American woman. That'll give him a shot at citizenship. That's another way of getting around the law. O'Rourke, what do you want, a replay? of what happened to his brother? Do you want to be responsible for two deaths in one family? You back off, Counselor. That was never documented, and the brother couldn't prove he would be in that much danger if he were sent back. I call a corpse proof positive. Boy, something's sour. You don't need all this muscle just to round up a bunch of guys without green cards. Shelly McRae, blonde, 32, grade school teacher, smuggler of illegal aliens. Well, personally, I take my hat off to that lady. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to arrange bail for Felipe and his friends. There's a lot of pain in hell town since you and your people got here. You didn't tell us you were a fugitive. Well, I thought what you didn't know wouldn't hurt you. I didn't lie to you. No, but you left out some important facts. Now, why don't you catch us up? You owe it to us, Shelley. I was convicted on two counts of conspiracy to violate immigration laws. The evidence was a tape secretly recorded in a church by an undercover agent. I was sentenced to four years and put on probation. You know violating probation means prison? It's worth the risk. It is? Why? Who are those people in there, anyway? Pilar is the wife of a newspaper man, Luis Escovel, who worships God, truth, and his family. I wasn't listening to her words. I was looking at the trouble and pain in her eyes, and something inside me needed to make that pain go away. And you got to Helltown and ran into trouble. Look, as soon as I can meet with David Wahlberg, we'll find a way to get them to Canada. You're not leaving here. You're not going to go meet anybody. You're too hot. You'll get busted. We'll all get in trouble. I'll send one ball to track down Wahlberg and talk to him for you. This isn't your problem. It's my problem. The sooner I get you and your people out of St. Dominic's, the sooner I get my people out of jail, and Helltown will get back to normal. Well, for once we're in agreement, the sooner the better. Was she like this when you knew her? She didn't just know me. She was my mistress of novices in the convent. You were a nun? She didn't quite make it. I'll bet. Give them five minutes, and then we'll ease on over. Remind all personnel about the briefing. The Fed still had Helltown under siege. So one ball was going to meet Wahlberg at a local store, sort of uh, by accident. How you doing, Rev? My name is One Ball. Those folks that you were trying to help, Father Hartsteps, got them on ice, but there's a lot of heat from the Migras. Ooh, Zoogie Boos. Suppose you'd like to see some credentials. That's from Father Hardstep and Shelley. Don't blame me, though. My granddaddy said, better safe than sorry. Tell Shelley to pick up set. They're waiting for her call. Oh, by the way, Rev, there's a rotten apple in your barrel. The Migras... The Migras knew that um, Shelley was heading for your mission. They've infiltrated the movement before. 
Thanks. And thank Father Hartstead for helping him. If I were you, Rev, I'd be cool. I understand that they're planning a big crackdown. Well, how can I? With so many refugees in need of help. Well, suit yourself, Rev. But you're gonna have an awful difficult time trying to help somebody peeking through some bars. I feel for those poor people down in the basement and all the others you've spoken about. We have a lot of misery right here, Shelley. I see it every time I go out on the streets of the parish. And I see what Noah Rivers does about it. As long as there's a father hard step, there's hope in hell, Tom. As long as there's a Maggie Jiggs, there'll be a hard step. Oh, you're going to be the death of me yet, Noah. That'll be the day. One boy gave me this. It's from Wahlberg. You can use the phone. I know it belongs to God, but I checked with him. Father Hardstep? Rosalita? Father, they won't let us see Felipe. They won't let us talk to him. They don't let us see him. I know. Lawyer Sam is downtown right now working on his bail. If they send him away, I may never see him again. And if he die, I want to die too. Shh. Don't you talk that way. I know you don't mean that. Listen, I'm going to take you home now. But I got to talk to Maggie first. You go out in the woody and wait for me. Look at me. You have faith, you hear? All right. When I drove Rosa home, the streets were crawling with squad cars. And across the street from St. Dominic's, two eagle-eyed cops in an unmarked car were on stakeout. Mother Maggie? Wahlberg is leaving a car behind the church. And if you're picked up outside of St. Dominic's, it won't be hard to figure out what house of worship you came from. Would you ladies like for me to plan the strategy? You see, breakouts are my specialty. I used to give seminars when I was in the stir. As a matter of fact, they called me Dr. D. And do you know why? No, why? Because I am a master of deception. I am a master of diversion. I am a master of disguise. So one ball was out front creating his diversion, with one of our local gangs standing by, ready to uh, do their part. Officer! I need some help. You need glasses. That was a bad call. You were trusted. How come you Meanwhile, we were going to sneak out the back door and head for a rendezvous in the park. I didn't understand why Ramon decided to bail out right then and there. Gracias, Pato. I will always remember you as a woman of great compassion and great courage. That sounds like goodbye, Ramon. Si. Pilar, le doy tus saludos a tu esposo, Luis. Cuídense. Gracias. Ramon, you're not going to Canada? No, Padre. There's much work I have to do. I will trust in you and the Senorita to do the exchange. On behalf of all those who fight for truth, gracias. Vaya con Dios, Ramon. And to you. Well, let's get it done. To cover our exit, Angel Cakes and Maggie hopped in the woody and took off. Pretty soon, every cop in town would be chasing them. Oh, no. All right, let's go. Suspect vehicle turning onto Allen Hahn Street, 41 Ford Wagon, Woody. Halt and detain occupants for identification by Immigration and Naturalization Service. Let's do it right this time, okay?
Our exchange point was in the park near the carousel, where we hoped to get those people out of our back seat and into a van headed for Canada. These people with the van that are supposed to be taking your friends to Canada, where are they? They're late. Yeah, figures. But the cops aren't. Esconded to everybody down. Think of. Uh, yeah. Uh, it, it, it worked fine. Is this them? Sure is. Let's wait a minute. Okay, let's go. It should have ended right there. Funny. I had a feeling it was just beginning. All I knew was that I was searching for an excuse to stay with her. So I asked her if she wanted to have a hot dog and watch the kids on the carousel. Kill for a little whipper. Mm -hmm. Uh. I don't know what we're gonna get you here because you're one of them seed and sprout eaters. I'll have two chili dogs and hold the dog. Aha, uh -huh. you got it. <laughs> give me two chili dogs and hold the dogs, I ain't kidding you, and give me one with everything including onions. Oh, look at that little boy over there. He wants to go on the carousel, but his mom's pregnant. <laughs> well, that's life. He'll just have to wait till his little brother or sister gets here and then he'll go on the carousel. And give us two root beers, please, with it. And if you got any, no, you ain't got any fritties, do you? Hmm. Oh. Well. with her for the wrong reasons, and I was feeling things I shouldn't have been feeling. And Father Rivers, what's your first name? Noah. They call you Father Hardstep, don't they? They certainly do. Or would you like to hear the famous story? Yes, I would. Well, I was found on a stormy night on the steps of St. Dominic's, the hard steps, mm -hmm. and it was raining so hard there was a river going by, rivers, <laughs> and the box that I was in started to float away like Noah's Ark, and that's the famous story. Noah, thank you for this. Yeah. Me too. We both needed a break from it, didn't we? Yeah. When you live the way I've been living, you learn to savor the smallest pleasures. It's like watching a butterfly. It only lives for a day. But oh, the beauty of it. Yeah. The beauty of it. We sat making small talk, 
but saying a lot of things with our eyes that we both knew we shouldn't be saying. It was beautiful sitting there with her. And just about the time I was gonna say something really foolish, I looked over and saw the cops. I knew I had to get us both out of there. Don't turn around. Just get up and walk away with me. We were easing our way back to St. Dominic's when we spotted all the action at Wahlberg's mission. Wahlberg was wearing cuffs, and nobody had to figure out who the snitch was. Oh, my God, Ramon. Yeah. He sold you out. That's why the cops were in the park. Get down. Sit down, don't let him see you. I had to figure a way to get Shelly out of the country, someplace where she'd be safe until this whole thing blew over. Shelly's idea about leaving was a little different. She still had work to do. I heard her ask for Mother Maggie's blessing because it was time for her to cut out. Um, look, please tell Noah how much tell I... Tell Noah... what? Where are you going, Shelley? Mexico. Ramon knows every house where we were safe. I have to go. I have to warn those people. Maggie, let me talk to Shelley for a minute. God be with you. Listen, if you've got to go warn them, I'm going with you. No, no. Every border crossing you ever used is going to be crawling with the heat. Have you thought about what you're going to do about that? I'll take a tour bus, maybe. I don't want you involved, Noah. I'm involved. Listen, Noah, there are too many people who depend on you for you to take any chances. There's Maggie and the children. And what about Rosa and Felipe? I'm not forgetting them. I'm not forgetting anybody. Juan Ball and lawyer Sam and Maggie, they'll take care of Rosa, Felipe, and St. Dominic's. You can't get across that border without help, and you know it. You gotta go? Yes. I know. I gotta go with you. We headed south for the border. I should have been back at St. Dominic's taking care of business, but all I knew was I wanted to be right there with her. I kept telling myself I was just getting her to Mexico where she'd be safe. Then I put her on a plane to Canada, and that would end it. Somewhere, someday, she'd end up with a guy, but it wouldn't be me. And that just about broke my heart. Shelly? What'd you find out? There's one border patrol unit about a half mile up the road checking the cars going into Mexico. Oh. <laughs> this reminds me of my college tailgating days. Yeah, where was that? Ivy League. What Ivy League? And thank you, Mother Maggie Jiggs, for your coffee. Mm. Wonderful woman, Mother Maggie. Amen to her. You know what? I'll bet you must have given her fits when it came to discipline, didn't you? She knew long before I did that I didn't belong in the order. But she had the wisdom to let me find out for myself. I'll bet she did. Uh, this uh, turncoat, Ramon, you think he knows about this crossing? Well, we didn't come this way, but I don't know how much he knows. Well, I'll tell you what. 
When you get your information to, uh, what's his name? Arturo. Arturo. There's only one safe place for you, and that's Canada. No, no. Never mind. I got it all worked out. Give me a hand. That's your wedding ring, courtesy of Mother Maggie. And this is a marriage license from my friend One Ball. As of today, you are married. You are now Mrs. N. Rivers. No, I can't let you do this. You don't have any choice now. I was at the wedding. I saw the bride almost choked when it came to the word obey. <laughs> have a little patience and she might mellow out. She might at that. Let you and I pray for a little luck going through that border and for what happens afterward. Okay. It looked easy enough. Cars ahead had all been waved through. But when they came to us, they made us wait while they gave the Woody a real close look. They seemed to be arguing, but we couldn't hear what they said. And we were both afraid that the feds had put out an APB on the Woody. What are they saying? I don't know. I can't hear them. Ah, uh, is there something wrong? Your car, senor. Well, uh, what's the matter with it? It's very rare. Oh, yeah. We have a bet as to the year. 40, 41. 41. I win. You can go through. What's up, I got here? Have a nice trip. Mexico, we ended up in a little shack on the beach, a long way from Helltown. Oh, I spent a lot of time here. Sometimes 10 or 12 of us will stay here. Really? And I thought I had faith. <laughs> well, you must really believe in what you're doing because the, uh, the lifestyle and the paycheck ain't too spiffy. Are you kidding? I get paid by the same man you do. I believe you do. Well, I'll go up and get the groceries, dear. You tidy up the place. Whoa. Hey, 
That's enough of that dream. Look over here. Hi. Hi. Okay. I brought you into danger. And I've never felt safer in my life. And you're gonna keep on feeling safe, too. That's my promise to you. It just got light, so do us both a favor and go back to sleep. And no more of that dream. Have a pretty one now. Dream about uh, the merry-go-round. <laughs> Going round and round. You and that little kid waving at me on your horse cool. to stay and take care of her, help her forget, and make her laugh again like she did on the merry-go-round. Dear Heavenly Father, this one is just tearing me apart inside. You had me in a good place in life for a long time. But now you sent me that girl in there. I'm feeling feelings that I haven't felt in years. I don't know what to do with her. She's everything that I could ever love. I can't turn my back on your work. St. Dominic's, the orphanage, and the children. Father, I love Helltown. But I love her, too. And I don't know what to do. Please, get me out of this one. Show me the way. Show me the way. up to the beautiful sound of her laughter. She was splashing in the water like a little kid. Almost without thinking, I found myself putting my collar back on. I thought it would protect me, but it didn't. sunshine surround you and give you illumined freedom. Shelly. It's all right. You don't have to love me back. But I do, you see. And that's what we have to face. Father! You are father? Yes. Sacerdote. It's my grandmother. She is dying. She needs a prayer so she can go to God. All right. We'll go up to my car. We'll get my kit and my Bible, then we'll go. Will you come? Of course. I'd asked for a sign from the Lord, and I guess that was it. Things had come full circle from the old lady dying in Helltown. All of a sudden, I was a priest again. I had something more important to think about than myself. Encontró un padre. Encontró un padre en la playa. She's asking for the last sacraments. Si, padre. I'm 
sorry. Mamacita? Mamacita? I'm a priest. I've come to help you go to God. Don't be afraid. If it's time for you to go to God, Maybe you're sick in your soul, not in your body. This medicine from the doctor, does she take the medicine? No, Padre. She says it does no good. She says her time has come. You say your time has come. God says when it's time for you to die, not you. Not because you're, you're old or you're tired or lonely. Yeah, because maybe you think your family doesn't love you. But we do oh, love her. We do love her. It's for that. see? It's for that. Now, you open your mouth and take this medicine. Now... Old lady, you're trying to end your life. And that's a sin. It's murder. And I can't let you do that. What would happen if you were standing before God right now? And you knew that you had thrown away his most precious gift. Your life. That's his gift to you. No. God is here now. He's here. He wants you to take your medicine. you to live. Now, we have to heal your soul. You need love, not prayers. Get up now. Come on. You're not sick. Go to your family. Put your arms around this boy. Come on. Ah, that's my girl. the old lady's shack, I knew that the Lord had answered my prayer, and I had to go back to St. Dominic's and be a priest. It was time to say goodbye. I should hate Ramon, but I can't. Because he gave us this. Yeah. Ain't it something? I wish... Oh, how I wish we could go on being together. But we can't, can we? No. Because we love each other for what we do as well as who we are. Yeah. Sure. I watched you do something wonderful in that shack today. That wasn't me. That was God. Oh, no, Noah. He's touched you in a very special way. He's given you a precious gift. Your collar, your priesthood. We couldn't be happy. He wouldn't be happy if we took any of that away from you. He gave us this little bit of time together, and that has to be enough. Oh, Noah, we had nothing, really. We had it all, didn't we? We sure did, pal. And we always will. I always love you, Noah Rivers. Me, you too.
So Shelly headed deeper into Mexico, and I headed home, but not just yet. I stayed on that beach a while. Pretty soon the tide would wash away the footprints so there'd be no sign that we ever walked there together. But the song, the merry-go-round song, that would stay in our hearts forever. into the world and look like this. And if you get married, Rosa, you'll have to deal with burning stew. Now, get out of here. Go to your room. Swing it uh, in. Uh, boy, uh, Sam. Now, you mean you don't want them to get married after all we went through to bring them together? We? You got a mouse in your pocket or something? You took off to Mexico, leaving us to do all the work. Ah, oh, it seems I may have done that. Now, you think it's a good idea or what? Hey, it's a wonderful idea. <laughs> I'm Carol Marine coming up on the Channel 5 News at 10. Chicago copes with wicked wind chills and a bitter cold snap that's continuing. John Coleman tells us how long it will be continuing. It's a night to stay indoors, but we'll show you some Rush Street singers that go outside anyway. And the familiar bell ringing of a well-known charity needs some help itself. Join us at 10.